Hey guys, welcome to another gameplay of Dark Souls. Isaac here, and we're going to take a journey to the catacombs. And what I'm going to do in the catacombs is uh, we're going to go and find three things. First, we're going to find the um, uh, Dark Moon Ring. Second, we're going to find the Grave Lord Covenant plus the Grave Lord Sword plus the Miracle. And third, we're going to go find the catacombs blacksmith, or at least teach you how to get to them. And like, what you want to do is go to the Firelink Shrine and just walk from there to here. Go to the graveyard, kill these skeletons. I'm kinda in a hurry, so I don't want these guys slowing me down. You know, didn't mean to do that. Oh well. So yeah, you want to go down here. And there should be a little entrance to the catacombs. Go through here. Do an epic jump. Epic roll. And then, here you are, you're in the catacombs. Now when you enter here, I would watch out, because if you can see those skulls, they will blow up right in your face. And um, yeah, it will cause some damage. I'm pretty sure they won't kill you, but I'm sure they'll cause some heavy damage to you. So I would either block that with your shield, or um, just try to get away from them. Which I'm going to do right now. Okay, just go down here, do an epic jump, epic land and uh, go through here. Now there are, some, yeah, there are some skeletons back there but I'm like I said I'm in a hurry. Go down here and there should be a fireplace. Rest at the fireplace. Take some time off. Get up and uh, you should be, if you're new to this you should be pulling this because this will activate a switch will help you throughout the catacombs so don't make sure not to forget that. Um, go up here. I'm going to skip these guys for now. And here we are. We're in this weird little waterfall like cave. Oh. oh, no, I don't think so. So, yeah, kill these skeletons because they think they're so cool. As you can still see on my screen, I'm still cursed. After this video, I'm going to try to lift myself. I think I need to go to New Londo or something, but um, yeah, I'm going to get taken care of that right away. Right off these guys. Oh, nice little dodge. Oh! Oh, it sucks to be me. Somebody falls off that edge. Oh, he did! Loser. Okay. So, yeah, skeletons can do that, so. I watch out for that. I don't know why, it's pretty gay. Okay, so you want to run up here. Um, I'm just going to ditch that guy. Ditch that guy. Take a left. Go over here, ditch the archer, and yeah, you should be here. Um, the only re now is it, if you're new to this, there should there should be some spikes on that bridge. But what you want to do is just run away all all the way over there, and there should be a lever. It'll help to make the surface flat, and it'll help you keep on going. So just gonna fight off these guys. Just got one. There we go. Go down here, and this is a, uh, and we're getting close to the blacksmith. So I'm going to show you guys how to get to him. Another quick tip: if you're getting overrun by skeletons and you can't fight them all, I would just run down here as quickly as possible. And let's hope they like that guy. They're gonna, they'll fall down to their death pretty much, because they like to jump a lot. So yeah, and um, here's what you have to do. Now I'm not going to jump down and do this because uh, I think I pissed off the blacksmith. Like, I accidentally hit him. Oh, okay. Like I said, I accidentally pissed off the blacksmith, but as I'm shining down my light, you see those edges? Just jump on them. Jump on that. If you see that corpse, jump on that edge, and then it should be a safe fall afterwards, and you'll trigger a cutscene, which will activate the blacksmith. Um, I think he makes fire weapons. Oh, yeah, there's a little lever in here. I would pull that. But, um, yeah, I think the blacksmith helps you forge fire weapons basically and yeah it's pretty nice but like I said I think he's pissed off at me so I'm not taking the risk uh, let's see where am I supposed to go nope not in there okay so yeah you want to go through here watch your step don't go this way take a left right here and just keep on going and 
Let's see where am I now. Okay, so yeah, you want to go up here. Plant this ladder of death. Just kidding. Um, yeah. Activate it. Pull the lever right here, which I'm not going to pull because I already did what I need to do. And yeah, that should help you out. And you should be able to run through here. Now, it's kind of like a puzzle. If you're new to this, it's going to be like a little puzzle for you. But I'm just going to, I'm just showing you guys how to get these items once you get through it all. Okay. These are resurrecting skeletons. Um, that means they can never die. If they, if I, all oh, here we go again. God, dude, that's so gay. Let's see if I can do it to him. Oh, well, I did it, but I didn't actually do the sweet move. But yeah, these guys can resurrect, so it's pretty bad. So I would try to run away from these guys. And here, we're going to get the Dark Maroon Ring. So we want to hit this. Treasure, like the kid said. Archers everywhere, bad guys. People that want to kill me. Try to dodge everything, because this place is annoying. And what you're going to do really quick, I'm just going to get this over with so I won't die. What you want to do is run up here. Big dude, watch out. And while you run up here, there's going to be a chest. And the Dark Moon Ring is going to be right there. And what the Dark Moon, Dark Moon Ring will do is will help you find another Covenant. So which is pretty nice. Yeah, these guys, I'm pretty much crowded, doomed. It's, okay, it's a pretty much okay to die as long as you have that ring. If you have a bone, home, ward bone or whatever, I would suggest using it now because I am just pretty much screwed. If, you have, if you're a Pyromancer, Fire would work great on these guys. Like I said, just kill them all, and I'm running for my life. Um, was, I guess I would go through here. If you if you're able to survive and make it out, just go through here. Go up here. And oh God, Pyromancer. Yeah, those guys are a little bit tough. Did not see that coming. Um, yeah, I guess I would just jump jump down through here. Yeah, here we go. And you're back where you came from. So that's how you get out of there once you get the Dark Moon Ring. And now you want to go through here. Try to get, try to chase away from those skull guys, because, in fact, you don't want to get blown up. Pulling these skeletons. Epic roll. Keep on running. And... Last but not least, I'm going to show you how to get to the Dark uh, Grave Lord Covenant, which is coming up right now. Go through this nice little hallway, do an epic jump. Um, let's see, almost there. And here's the coffin where you want to be laying down in. But what you want to, but you can't activate this. There's going to be a cutscene, but you can't activate it not unless you have the Eye of Death, which I'll show you guys what it looks like. Here's what the Eye of Death looks like. Here's the description, and um, I think you get the Eye of Death off this corpse. But the only problem is a demon. I think it starts with a T or something, but it's one of those demons that are big and shoots lightning at you. But once you kill him, get to get his souls, whatever. I think an Eye of Death will be right here. And all you have to do is just sit on top of this and wait. Now it's going to take a while to wait, but um, if you wait long enough, you'll trigger the cutscene. So yeah, just sitting here, waiting. Man, this place sucks. Here we go.
And here we are, the Tomb of Giants. Now, let you, just to let you guys know, this place is 100% free. So you can go here whenever you want. And I'll show you the Grave Lord. There he is. His name is... Sacrophagus Grave Lord. I don't know how to say his name, screw it. But yeah, and uh, this guy prayed to him, entered the covenant, and what, what this guy will give you... He will give you the Gravelord Sword and a miracle called uh, Sword Dance, I think. But here, I'll show you the Gravelord Sword really quick to see what it looks like. Pretty badass, I would have to say. But yeah, that's, that's just a nice look at it. And um, here is the miracle spell. If I could just find it really quick. Look, Grave Lord Sword Dance. And, yeah. That's how, that's, and that's how you get to the Grave Lord Covenant. Now, it, you, I would recommend getting to this guy first. It's okay if you betray him. You can get back to him anytime you want. But, you cannot get this guy if you kill Grave Lord Nito, the last boss in the Tomb of Giants in the whole catacombs. If you kill Grave Lord Nito, um, this guy will not like you, he will not accept you, and I think he'll disappear. So I would recommend doing first before you kill the last boss in this uh, tomb. So yeah, this is my video of how to get those three things. Thank you for watching, and please leave a comment, subscribe, and um, I'll see you guys later. And um, yeah, I'll just, I'm, I'm just going to try to lift that curse, and, and if you guys are figuring out to go back, all you have to do is hop on this. And you look, yeah. So just wait here. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Thanks, thank you for watching. Bye.